This was a burn pile that was from about 30 yards of material, mostly dug fir. It burned for almost eight hours, and you can see it started snowing. The wind started blowing severely, and a couple hours after taking this video, I decided to quench the fire. Notice the blue smoke, which indicates it's time to make some biochar. This wasn't just any old burn pile. This was probably 30 yards of dug fir waste, and it was burned in the uh, middle of inclement weather. And just when it reached its peak, after I'd put this big stump on it, is when I decided I needed to put the fire out because it was uh, blowing too too hard. It was sending embers a hundred feet away from the from the burn. So I put five gallon buckets one after the other, probably 15 of them in total, to extinguish the fire. And now it's been over a month and several more inches of rain to kind of leach all the alkalinity out of the biochar, the remaining biochar. So you see when we, when we pick it up and turn it, there's not ash here. Well, once we get this um, biochar collected in the tote, we will be soaking it in a compost tea and soil mixture from the gardens that we're going to be using it in. And that's called activating the biochar so that it's um, oh, look at that. providing the moisture and nutrients and some uh, bacterial and fungal colonies to the soil immediately when you put this biochar in. Putting dry biochar is not um, the best way to add it to your garden because what it's gonna do is just soak up all the nutrients and moisture out of your soil. The point of biochar addition is that it's a permanent addition to your garden. You don't have to add any more once you add it once. And um, it's a substrate for uh, microorganisms to inhabit your soil and to enrich and retain the nutrients that are in your soil so that the plants can access them for a longer period of time and they don't just leach out as you water. Okay, so here we are uh, in the location we're going to be activating our biochar in and uh, we're sifting it through this carpenter's cloth half inch by half inch mesh and so that it's a consistent size it's small enough but not too small and uh, surface yeah. area for everything to grab a hold of mycorrhiza this is wet too so if you're working with dry material you need to be wearing a respirator so here we go here right I can just crush that through the screen because that's that's good and carbonized and I'm just increasing all that surface area by crushing it up exposing all those pores see that piece just disappeared right through the screen so I'm Alright, so here's our biochar after it's been screened. And next, we're going to add some compost and some horse manure. And we're going to add water and we're going to let it sit. It's going to be magnificent. Alright, so here Kathy's going to mix a couple of scoops of green manure into our biochar that we're going to activate. We're just running it through a half inch by half inch screen and getting any foreign objects like stones out and increasing the surface area of the manure so that it can create lots of biological activity for us. 
But it's been through the gut of a horse, a couple of horses, so. We've got some good microorganisms going on in here. Right, we're seeding and our biochar for that's sure. That's what we're looking for to get our biochar activated. And then we're gonna mix it into, down to six inches in our soil. All right, that looks pretty good. We'll go on to the next deal. With uh, a couple scoops of soil from our 500 gallon smart pots that we've been growing in for a very long time. And hopefully this will incorporate some of our own soil microbes into this biochar. All right, our final ingredient today is gonna to be earthworm castings. We're gonna put in two shovelfuls to uh, match the two shovelfuls of soil and the two shovelfuls of green manure. So here we go. Then we're gonna fill this with water. Wait till we're from the All right, now we're gonna add water until the biochar is underneath the water. So in this case, it'll be probably 50 gallons of water, maybe. We'll see.